Despite their abysmal 1-7 record 8 weeks into the season, not everything has been doom and gloom for Jags fans. A couple of their players from the 2020 draft class have shown flashes this season, with LaVisca Chenault living up to his Swiss Army Knife hype and Devon Hamilton showing glimpses on defense. However, without a doubt, the best player on the Jags offense, despite being a rookie this year, wasn't drafted by Jacksonville. Undrafted free agent James Robinson has been absolutely electric for the Jaguars this season, amassing 805 scrimmage yards and 7 touchdowns through his first 8 weeks. After letting go of Fournette, there was a lot of concern behind the lack of running backs in Jacksonville. However, the Jags' faith in Robinson seems to be paying off. From blocking, to running, to receiving, Robinson has proven that he can do it all at a high level. In his time as the lead back, Robinson has consistently shown he can run tough behind the tackles and use his 5'7 frame expertly, winning the leverage battle on almost every play. One of my favorite things about Robinson is he's a killer when he has the ball in his hands. He has no respect for anyone on the defense and delivers a hit on every touch of the ball. He doesn't want to run out of bounds, he wants contact, and when it's late in the fourth and he's been hitting the wind out of you for three quarters, he makes that last push just a bit harder for the defense. Check out the first play of the fourth quarter against the Chargers. The Jags show a balanced formation with an equal number of receiving threats on both sides. The Chargers sent a middle linebacker cross blitz to try and confuse the O-line and get one-on-one -on -one matchup across the board. Quick shout out to Linval Joseph, number 95, who ball rushes the soul out of Cam Robinson. The Jags are going to look to run the ball inside here, with Chenault trap locking the end. However, due to Linval Joseph rush and the two backers still in the A-gaps, Robinson is forced to bounce this outside, following Chenault as a lead blocker. Jags fans already know this is a nice matchup, because LaVisca has been an outstanding blocker all season. Chanel creates a nice lane for Robinson, sealing out the Chargers' Michael Davis. Robinson shows nice vision and a good burst of acceleration to bounce it to the outside and get tight to his lead blocker, before throwing Rayshon Jenkins a nasty stiff arm and getting forced out of bounds for a gain of 22. How about this play all the way back in Week 1? Backed up, the Jags come out in jumbo eye formation with two tight ends and a fullback. The Jags run a dive to the weak side, and man should get a defender to jump. Ignoring the penalty though, keep your eyes on James Robinson in the backfield. As soon as he gets the exchange from Minshew, his assigned running lane is blown up. 28 manages to jump cut back into his own end zone and beat Houston to the edge. Bobby Okariki takes a poor angle, and Robinson uses his stiff arm to shrug him to the ground before lowering his shoulder and carrying the linebacker for the first down. Now let's look at these two plays from the Chargers. On 1st and 10, the Jags run an inside run from a spread look with Robinson offset right. From the end zone view, you can see Robinson's great vision as he weaves his way through blockers, finding the crease and allowing him to reach the second level, before running over the safety eventually being brought down for a gain of 14. On the ensuing play, the Jags called Robinson's number again from almost the exact same formation but this time motioning in the tight end. The Jags call another run inside, and this time there's no lane for Robinson. He bounces outside and pulls off an absolute textbook spin move before escaping for the first down and a gain of 13. This is fantastic running. Robinson's game isn't limited to just running the ball turning 34 targets into 27 receptions for 225 yards and 2 touchdowns, the undrafted free agent's versatility has breathed new life into the Jags' lackluster offense. Robinson introduced himself to the Jags fans with a handful of nice runs in Week 1, but perhaps his highlight play of the day was this one in the fourth quarter. The Jags are in double wide, with Robinson offset to the right. Without knowing the actual play call, it's impossible to know, but this looks like a designed screen to Robinson as the nearside receiver makes no attempt to run a route. Robinson runs a swing and upon catching the ball, finds himself in acres of space. He doesn't waste any time dancing, puts his foot in the ground and explodes upfield. The ability to jump over not one, but two defenders is phenomenal, but then land after being hit in the air and carry on running is truly special. That's just not something many backs in the league can do. Check out this play from Week 7's matchup. 
Jacksonville lines up in a spread look with a bunch to the weak side. The Jags run two inside routes and attempt to move the defensive backs towards the middle of the field so that Robinson can get a lane to the corner. Before Robinson even catches the ball, the safety is breaking towards the corner, shutting off the angle. Robinson displays an excellent understanding on how to beat a tackler in a small window one-on-one. -on -one. As he's closing the space, he manages to square up the DB at the five yard line for just half a second. If Robinson just sprints to the corner, he'd probably have been pushed out of bounds at the three or four. But squaring him up gives him the half second he needed to win that acceleration battle and reach the pylon. Robinson has shown great awareness as a receiver and on a constant basis is able to find small creases in defenses after the catch. Robinson isn't restricted to just power moves and shown some serious ability to make a defender miss in open field. Like here against Miami, Robinson is just going to run a checkdown route that should be stopped for a minimal gain. However, he manages to put his foot in the ground and juke past three Miami defenders for a gain of 24. Something I've noticed on tape is that James Robinson is deceptively quick. Despite running a 4.64 at the combine, which likely hurt his draft stock, his game speed looks more like a 4.440. Robinson has done all this as an undrafted rookie, and he's on pace to make history. Dominic Rhodes set the single season rushing record as an undrafted rookie when he picked up 1,104 rushing yards alongside Peyton Manning. Right now, Robinson is on pace for 1,160 yards. This is all incredible considering he had no preseason to practice. At the rate he's playing and the style he's used in, James Robinson is a guaranteed top 20 fantasy pick next season and it appears Jags have their running back for the future. When adding in the contribution from the rest of the 2020 draft class like LaVisca Chanel and Devon Hamilton, fans should be at least confident for the long term future despite the short term looking pretty bleak. Thanks for watching. If you want more football, check out our latest film studies on how DeForest Buckner creates havoc and how DK Metcalf is blossoming into a top 5 wide receiver.